Vision Forwards in Focus team presents. Hi, this is Luke Scriven here at Vision Forward, and welcome back to another In Focus Tech Talk. In today's Tech Talk, we're looking at a free online typing program called Typer Online, and this is made by American Printing House. And um, it's a, a pretty good free solution if you want to learn how to use the keyboard effectively. So let's jump in and we'll take a look at what it can do. So here we are on the Typer Online website. And so if we open our browser and go to typer.aphtech.org, then we will find this free online typing program. And it's very simple in terms of layout. Let's take a look at the visual options that we have first of all that will allow us to change the way that it looks um, to make it more accessible. So uh, across the top, uh, we have in a black banner some options here, lessons, user guide, and about. And to the right of about, we have a switch. And if we go ahead and hit that switch, then that will put us into the high contrast dark background mode. Hit the switch again. And we go back to the high contrast white background mode. So that's pretty nice. Uh, we can choose whichever works best for us. I quite like the dark background, so let's go for that for the moment. Now, when we come to the online typing program, we will want to do some lessons. And so there is a button along the top, as I said previously, that's called lessons. Let's go ahead and go there. And once we go into the lessons, we actually have some additional options for um, changing the way that this looks. And so we have uh, at the top next to the switch that we pressed for the dark mode, we have three A's. The first A has a minus next to it. The next A is just an A. And the last A is an A with a plus next to it. So if we hit with the A with the plus next to it, we will enlarge the size of the font on the screen. And we can go up and nice and large. Obviously, the A with the minus will reduce the size of the font. And if we hit the A in the middle, then that will actually just reset the font to its uh, normal size. Let's leave it here at, uh, at a larger size. And we'll choose from one of the lessons here. We have uh, home keys for the left hand, home keys for the right hand. And then from there, it will start to introduce more and more keys as we go along. So let's open up the first lesson here, home keys for the left hand. I'll click on that. And here it tells us uh, a little bit about what we need to do. Uh, so we can actually turn on a voice here, or we can read it ourselves. Um, so uh, it's telling us kind of how we need to align our hands and telling us what we need to do, which is to basically type the letters that it says and then press the space bar after each word or set of letters that we've typed. Let's just turn on the voice a second here. Beginning with your little finger, place the fingers of your left hand on A, S, D, and F. Use your right thumb to press the space bar after each word or set of letters. So there we go. We could hear that it uh, read to us what it is that we need to do. Let's go ahead and jump in and start a lesson and see what those look like. I'll click on the start button to do that. A, S, D, F. And we hear that it says the letters that we need to press. These are going to be the home row letters with the left hand. Now, I'm going to go ahead and press them. So here's an A, here's an S, here's a D. Here's an F. Until I've hit the space bar, it won't move on to the next bit. Now, one of the things I don't like about this uh, free program is that it does not tell you as you press the keys. Um, it doesn't, doesn't make a noise to let you know that you've done it correctly. Okay, so let, let's make a mistake. So I'm going to hit the space bar here. A, S, D, F. So we heard it moved on to the next, uh, the next lesson. I'm not going to press A. I'm going to press F. A, S, D, F. So we did get a little noise, and it repeated the letters that we needed to press. So we knew that we'd made a mistake. Mistake, but it doesn't give us any indication as we're typing that we are pressing a, the right S, letters. D, F. And so um, that's that's one downside. But you get the idea. If it doesn't say anything, you have pressed the right letters. And I go ahead and hit escape there to cancel that lesson. So uh, let's see what I achieved there. I typed four words. I did five words per minute. I made one error. And I had 0% accuracy. Seems like I might need to do a bit more training here. Um, so we do get some statistics at the end of our lesson that let us know uh, how we've done. And those are nice. And um, we can uh, choose, now that we've cancelled this lesson, to resume the lesson or to restart the lesson. Or if we click in the top left where it says lesson list, that should take us back to our list of lessons. And here we are back in our list of lessons. 
Uh, so that's all good. That, that's our visual options. Let's take a look at how this works with a screen reader now. Um, so obviously, uh, if we're visual, we might still be able to get away with uh, kind of hunt and pecking. But if you are blind, then obviously you need to uh, learn the keyboard inside and out and be an efficient touch typist. And so we need to make sure that this program does work with a screen reader. So people who are blind are able to learn using it. So I'll go ahead and uh, back out to uh, the main menu here. If I can, uh, let's get to the front page. Here we go. I'm going to turn off my high contrast option here. And I'm going to turn on Windows uh, Narrator with Control, Windows, and Enter. Home, Typer Online, and one more page. Work, Microsoft Edge Window, Banner, Dark Mode Checkbox Unchecked. Okay, so now I've opened up um, uh, Windows Narrator and we heard the voices speaking to us. Now we can very easily navigate this, this main page of Typer Online using just Tab and Shift Tab. So let's see if we can get to the Lessons button. About User Guide Lessons there button. We go. We found the Lessons button. If I hit Space Bar, that's going to activate that button and I'll be through to my list of lessons. Loading page. Loading complete. Lessons. Home keys for the left hand. One of 25 level one. Good, so we heard that we're in a list of 25 items and we're currently on home keys for the left hand. Let's move down to home keys for the right hand. Right hand. I'll use my down arrow. Home keys for the left hand. Home keys for the right hand. There we go, button. that's home keys for the right hand. And we'll, we'll press space to go ahead and activate that. Home, key, home keys for the right hand. Beginning with your index finger, place the fingers of your right hand on J, K, L, and semicolon. Use your right thumb to strike the space bar after each word or each set of letters. Start button. Okay, so we heard there that um, Windows Narrator automatically read out the instructions for the lessons, so we didn't need to activate that voice button on the page here because our screen reader is doing that for us. And it also places us on the start button, so whenever we're ready, we can hit space to begin the lesson. Let's give it a try. Edit. JKL. Scan off. J. Now you might have noticed there that we got both the voice built into uh, type uh, on Typer Online and we got our screen reader telling us what we need to press. So that can be a bit confusing. Uh, this one's JKL Semi. Let's type that. JKL Semi J -K -L Space. JKL Semicolon. And we heard now we're on to the next lesson. JKL, JKL Semicolon again. JKL Semicolon Space. L K J. We got a semicolon L K J. Semicolon. L, K, J, space. L, K, J. So um, as you're hearing, so you're hearing two voices. You're hearing the typer online voice telling us what we need to press. And then we're hearing the narrator voice as we type those keys. Semicolon, L, K, J, space. L, semicolon, K. Let results, four words, six words per minute, zero errors, zero percent accuracy resume button. And I just exited out of there and uh, it gave me the results there. So it is kind of nice with a screen reader because we can hear the keys from our screen reader as we're pressing them. So we know that we have indeed pressed the, the correct key. Or if we haven't pressed the correct key, we'll hear the key that we pressed. And so we'll know uh, kind of what key we, we've pressed instead of the one that we're supposed to have pressed. And we heard as we exited the program that it uh, went ahead and gave us those, read out those uh, statistics to us and put us onto the resume button. If I want to get back to my lesson list, I can just use my tab or my shift tab again to get to the lesson list. Restart. Home keys for the right hand. Lesson list button. There we go. There's the lesson list button and I'll hit space bar and we'll go back to the list of lessons. Let Home keys for the right hand. One of one level one. And there we go. Now we're back to our list of lessons. So very easy to navigate using a screen reader, uh, which is really nice. And uh, although we do get two voices going sometimes, which can be a little confusing, I think you, you quickly kind of get uh, get the idea and are able to, to use it. So definitely a very functional program. Um, the lessons do cover all of the keys on the keyboard, as you would would expect. Um, they're, they're, they're not too exciting. I mean, you know, I mean, I, I feel like you can make ex uh, typing a little bit more exciting, uh, but this is fairly bare bones in terms of what it offers. But of course, it is free, and that is definitely a big bonus. So I can't see any reason why an individual wouldn't be able to use this program to become a proficient touch typist, uh, providing that they put the time in to go through the lessons and make sure that they mastered them. So again, if you want to check this out for yourself, 
you can go to typer.aphtech.org and uh, give it a try and see what you think. Well, thanks a lot for watching our video on Typer Online, a free online typing program. And of course, we hope that you enjoyed the video and got something out of it. If you did, please do like the video and uh, do think about subscribing to the channel. We release new videos every Friday, so uh, it's worth subscribing to keep up to date with those. And if you want to get in touch with us and talk about Typer Online or any other piece of uh, assistive technology software or device, then you can call 414 615 0103. You can visit us online at vision forward.org or send us an email in focus at vision forward.org. Thanks a lot for watching, and we will look forward to seeing you in our next video.